an APS-C size sensor uh, is, of course, smaller than a full frame sensor by one and a half times. Um, and and that, uh, that in itself is a, a big difference between the two of them. You know, um, th there are pros and cons to both, okay? Um, the, the pros of, you know, I, I personally love my full frame sensor camera. I shoot with the 5D and I'm planning on investing in a either a 5D Mark II or, or the new T2, the new T2i that's coming out. So, and, and my decision making in this is that, um, you know, to me, the biggest thing that uh, is the difference is the sensor size. So the T2i is a APS-C size sensor. The 5D Mark II is a full frame sensor. And that's really what's pushing me towards that five, you know, 5D Mark II. Uh, if I get the, the T2i, one of the reasons I wanna get it is because of the uh, video chip in it. Now the video chip is in both of the cameras. Uh, it's a little, it's, oh, I hear it's a lot better in the 5D Mark II, but you know, I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna push it to its limits anyway. Uh, I'm undecided at the moment, but I'm really leaning towards the 5D Mark II. And uh, you know, it's because like I said, of the full frame, and there's advantages that are inherent with having a full frame sensor. Uh, the, the first advantage that comes to my head is the image quality. You have, uh, you have a, a bigger sensor. Um, and even though, you know, like right now, the, the T2i is gonna be an 18 megapixel, you know, camera. And the 5D Mark II is a 22 megapixel or 24, something like that. Don't quote me on that. But anyhow, it, it's, there's, there's more pixels, but there's more area. So you, you have the opportunity to have bigger pixels, big, bigger, not pixels, but bigger um, photo diodes, the, the things that collect the light that make pixels. So the pixels are what you see, but the, what, what collects it, the actual tool that's collecting it is called a photo diode. So your photo diodes, the bigger they are, the less um, noise to, to information ratio there is. So uh, I'm not gonna pretend to know what that actually means or like in deep depth, but basically I know that if you, if you get less noise in your darks when you go in higher ISOs with bigger photo sensors. So bigger photo diodes, you know? So, so I know that. And, uh, and so I think that's a great thing. It means I can bump up my ISO and shoot in situations and get quality pictures that I couldn't get with uh, a, a smaller sensor or more, more accurately, um, smaller photo diodes. So the, the different, I mean, th these things are tiny, you know, they're, they're, uh, you know, I think there's something like uh, nine microns or something like that. And a, a micron is, um, a, I think that it's like the hundredth a size of your, the width of a hair. So a hundredth the size of that is a micron. So each one of these little diodes is, well, if you figure you got to fit 4,000 on a little tiny thing about this big, you know, each one of them is uh, nine microns, you know, so one hundredth of the size of your hair, you know, times nine, you know, so, <laughs> so they're very small, but you know, the, the ones on an APS-C size sensor are about four microns. So four to five. So, so they're, they're almost half the size. So you get these bigger uh, wells that are collecting light, these bigger, um, you know, photodiodes. And, you know, that makes you, I just know that it makes it able to get uh, higher to get a better quality in low light situations. So that's one thing that I'm really leaning towards the 5D about is that. Um, now the other advantage to having a, a full frame sensor is uh, that when you have your wide angle lenses on, they, they stay, the, there's, no, um, there's no conversion factor as far as lenses is concerned. So we talked about the conversion where you're converting. You know, I was talking about the advantages of a telephoto. Well, there's disadvantages to a wide angle. If you go out and buy a wide angle lens, you want a wide angle. You know, if you're getting a 16 millimeter lens, you want a, a fisheye look, you know, 15 millimeter, you know, in that area. You want this rounded off fisheye look. Well, the rounded off fisheye look comes from the edges. And if your APS-C size sensor's in the middle, you're gonna get, uh, well, you know, 16 millimeter would convert into a 24 millimeter. So you're gonna get a 24 millimeter look and you can't get a fisheye look out of it. A and you'd have to get, a, you know, a, a 10 millimeter lens, which is gonna be more expensive, to work out to be a you know 15 millimeter look a fisheye look so you know you you lose that wide angle in in uh with the APS-C size sensor but with a full frame sensor you actually get all your your uh focal range you get the whole look so you know that to me that's very important because i love wide angle shots i love the perspective that wide angle shots create you know i, I just love it i think it's fantastic so you know that to me is very important and that's one of the reasons that I'm leaning towards the 5D Mark II. So, personally. Uh, another reason I'm leaning towards the 5D Mark II is because as a professional, uh, you know, it, it, you know, I guess as just a person too, you know, I love the feeling of having like a, the big, nice Bombay camera. I love that feeling. I love, 
I love walking into, you know, a wedding or an event or something and looking around and knowing I got the best damn camera there. You know, I got the Bombay camera. So I can do good things with, you know, smaller, less expensive cameras and things. But I hate walking around with a little tiny camera, you know. I, I, <laughs> I don't like that feeling, you know, it's being a professional. You know, being, you know, a hobbyist and stuff like that, I don't care taking out my camera to whatever, you know. But when I'm the guy who's supposed to be the guy there, you know, this is the guy, you know, and you're the photographer. I like to roll in just for just for my the confidence of my clients and the confidence of the people who are around to, to be like, oh, you know, that's the man, you know, like, oh, you're the man, you know, it's obvious you're the man, look at you. And no one even questions if I'm professional or not, you know, it, it's, it goes without saying when you got a Bombay camera like that. So that's one reason I'm leaning towards the 5D, it's got nothing to do with the, the full frame, but I guess it does because the full frame sensor, uh, you know, it, it makes the camera bigger because every component that goes with it has to be bigger because it's processing more. You need bigger processors, bigger bigger everything because everything's doing more. So uh, because there's more information being dragged in. So you know uh, th that's the pros to you know having a full frame sensor. Now there's cons too. You know like when I when I'm deciding you know that it's not like everything's you know all woo, 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 it's not sunshine and lollipops you know in uh, in full frame sensor land you know one of the things is the size of the camera you know if you want to walk around with a big bulky camera you know to feel cool then you know that's just your thing but if that's not your thing you know because you get tired you know like you walk around with a heavy camera and a heavy lens and you know that's it, it weighs on you it, it physically weighs on you and, and you know after a few hours of doing it you you know you get tired you want to take a little break you know and, and sometimes you can't take a break so you're just lugging this thing around and you know, if, if you're not prepared to do it, if you're not all ripped like I am and buff, look at that shirt. <laughs> if you're not, if you're not all, you know, like if, if you're not ready for that, it can really weigh you down. It'll affect your performance. But you know, I'm used to it. I'm ready for it. I know what it takes. So you know, uh, to me, that's that's a con that that I've you know flicked out the window and I've decided, oh well, dude, I'm just you know I have to be I have to be more ripped. Uh, another con, which is a big one to most people for the full frame sensor, um, is or for a full frame full. A bigger con uh, for a full frame sensor camera is uh, the price. So it's a lot pricier. Um, right now, the 5D Mark II is like $2,500 for just the body. Uh, in comparison, you know, the 7D is right around $1,500, so it's $1,000 less. Uh, the T2i, which is coming out, is going to be around $900 for a kit with a lens. So, you know, that's a big difference. It's a big jump. You know, you can buy two and a half cameras, uh, the T2i level, for the price of a 5D Mark II. Um, and, and that's like, that's a big deciding factor for a lot of people. Now, for me, uh, I don't mind spending. To me, it's an investment. It's, I'm not spending money. I'm uh, I'm investing money, and I'm going to get it back. You know, I know that when I produce the higher quality product, I'm going to be able to charge more money. You know, and so so knowing that going in uh, enables me to you know purchase without any you know reservations because I know that you know I've done it before. I've uh, you know I'm, this is going to be my fifth professional camera I've bought. You know, and, and my fifth camera I bought as a professional. Now I started with what would be considered a you know a non-professional camera i was shooting professionally with a, a nikon fm10 as my baby so you know I, I was shooting professionally with that you know i was shooting professional i was you know i wasn't making a lot of money but i was making money you know it was that was where i started professionally was with the you know nikon fm10 and then uh, you know i moved on to um, a 6.3 megapixel canon rebel you know and then i you know moved on to a, a 8 megapixel rebel then i moved to the 5d mark ii you know four years ago when it first came out and I, I was a big bump, you know, and it's still a great camera. I mean the 5D, the regular 5D. And then now I want the 5D Mark II, you know. <laughs>